Craig and Familia. Welcome back to the episode of Craig Teens, your man Frank C. Um, today I want to talk about my top 10 for summer of 2022. I know we're kind of uh, late in the season now at this point, but uh, I usually like to get into this season a little bit before I start talking about my favorite scent. So, I mean, it's only August. Um, today is August 6th, so, you know, we still got a good chunk of summer left. Um, so let's just jump right into it. But before we do that, I'd like to... Uh, Thank you for all my subscribers. We've crossed the 200 mark. Uh, I believe now we're, we're at about 220 right now. So definitely appreciate, appreciate the support. Definitely get the word out. I mean, you know, we're definitely trying to grow this thing and just share information and love for the hobby. So that, that, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. So if this is your first time on the channel, please um, subscribe and uh, just continue to like, support, share the videos and uh, definitely appreciate all your support. So jump right into it. At the number 10 spot for the summer of 2022, this is from the house of Perry Ellis. This is Perry Ellis Red. And this is one of the first fragrances that I bought. Probably the first 10 fragrances I bought back in 2017 when I started collecting. I know that for sure. So I got it from Ross. Um, it's not as readily available in the uh, discount stores as it used to be. Uh, you could probably get it at Amazon online. I, I think it's still pretty much readily available, but it's not. It used to be a, a rack store staple. Not so much anymore. This was supposed to be a, a, an interpretation of uh, a, lot of, a lot of people say it smells like um, Aqua de Jo, the original Aqua de Jo. I don't think so. I think uh, just in the, in the fact that it's, um, you know, a light citrusy, citrusy scent um, with some herbal nuances. I think that that's where the comparison comes from. But to me, I think it's something different. And, you know, I'm kind of rediscovering my, my collection. So wearing a lot lately. So for the house of Periellus, Periellus Red. 1996 release. Next, so number uh, nine is from the Spanish House of Toos. This is Toos Men Sport. Love Toos Men Extreme. I have Extreme and I have Original. Uh, this is like a sporty version of that. Uh, it has nice citrus notes up top. Uh, this is a really great scent. And um, it, it, average, average longevity. Uh, but a really nice, bright uh, version of uh, Toes Men. Toos Men Extreme, if you're familiar with those scents. So from the Spanish House of Toos. Man sport. Next, uh, to number eight, to number eight spot. This is from the house of Atsado. This is Atsado Porom Summer Edition. Uh, if you know anything about Atsado Porom, that nice classic barbershop scent, this is Atsado Porom. Most of Atsado Poroms are pretty much in that same wheelhouse. They just add like different nuances to it, different uh, scents up on top of that base of Atsado Porom. And this is no exception. This one has notes of, of cumin. Some citrus notes are in it. Um, just definitely a great scent. It's been in my rotation for years. And um, like I said, I'm rediscovering my collection. I've been wearing this a lot. So from the house of Atsado, it's auto put on summer edition. Number seven spot, another classic. I've talked about it for years. For the house Ferrari, it's for our Ferrari Bright and Aroli. Um, it's a definitely one of my uh, probably top, maybe first 25 bottles I bought when I was collecting. Back with Ferrari uh, Bright and Aroli, it was really hot. Um, I actually. <laughs> I actually bought this from Otino back when Otino was uh, still available in the States. Um, I bought this and a couple other ones. Can't recall off, off top. I think I bought um, Guerlain Poron Extreme uh, when I bought this. But uh, just a little fun fact there. Bright and Aroli, definitely great citrusy scent. Um, it draws comparison to uh, Tom Ford and Aroli Portofino. I think it's a lane of his own. Come across for a good price there for scooping up. And House Ferrari's Ferrari Bright and Aroli. Number six spot. This is for the house of Guerlain. This is Guerlain Lomb Ideal Sport. Now, uh, Lomb Ideal Sport, all the Lomb Ideals have that nice almond note that's in there. This is another one that has the almond note in there. It's just layered with, with some citrus nuances in it. Great longevity, great um, average projection. I, I probably get like six hours out of this, which is great for a summer scent. Um, it is, it replaced, uh, in, in essence, it replaced. Um, the um, uh, Lomi de Cologne, which I have, uh, I, I bought two bottles of that. Lomi de Cologne is one of the first colognes that I, uh, that I uh, bought from Guerlain. And uh, of course I just continued. That's an awesome banger, banger scent. It's not, not in my top 10 right now because I haven't been wearing it. But um, cool, a sport pretty much replaced this and then Lomi de Cool replaced this one. So, or, you know, they're just looking for other iterations of that Lomi de Cologne which uh, I think this is a good blue sporty version of, of that. The almond notes are still present, stitches up top. For the House of Guerlain, it's the Guerlain Lomb Ideal Sport. 
So now we're in the top five. That was pretty quick. Try to keep these videos quick. From the house of John Bravados, this is John Bravados, Artisan Pure. Awesome set. I mean, that citrus, uh, those those herbal, herbally uh, notes in there. Um, surprisingly, this is one of Bravados' uh, best lasting performances on my, on my skin. I get eight, eight hours easily out of this one, and, that, and that's great for a, a summer scent. Uh, great projection. Always the compliments off of this one. And um, I haven't really looked to see see how readily available it is. I got this maybe back uh, in like 2019 time frame. Uh, I think I got it from Marshalls for like 30 bucks, something like that. Um, it's definitely worth it. I mean, this is this this is a quality uh, Barbados scent, and Barbados is notorious for their scents not lasting long. This one, the better lasting one. So come across it. I don't I don't I haven't seen their rack store in years, but I think it's definitely worth seeking out. So from the House of John Barbados, John Barbados are some pure. All right. Number four spot, classic summer staple uh, from the house of Chanel, the Chanel Le Homme Spa or Extreme. I haven't worn it in a long time, but like I said, I'm kind of trying to enjoy my collection right now. I'm not really buying a lot right now, just kind of reflecting on what I have. So this is a, definitely a great classic summer scent, a Le Homme Spa or Extreme. Um, it's actually my scent of the day today, and it's a beautiful scent, orange, creamy, citrusy scent. Um, I mean, there's nothing that really, really smells like this out there. So, uh, if you see this at Macy's, I, th I think it's a really, really available Macy's in like department stores or something like that, any places like that. Uh, you know, I, I like Chanel a lot. Um, definitely always a quality product. So, if you, if you see this out and about, definitely worth scooping up. And it's awesome summertime. I think it's a great four season scent, but definitely, definitely really shine in the summertime when that heat kind of warms up that that citrusy, creamy orange um, uh, nuance that, ha that it has to it. Can't be different. House or little on sport, little on sport or extreme. Top three from the house of Jesus El Pozo, Halloween Man X. Hero. <laughs> you want to call it Halloween Man X? It's Halloween Man Hero. I'm sorry. Halloween Man Hero. Um, you know, um, has a nice colorful bottle. Um, great, great citrus, citrusy uh, version of Halloween and the whole Halloween Man. Um, it's, it's, it's all the Halloween Mans to me, in my opinion, are different. Um, I have Halloween Man, Halloween Man X, and I have this one. It's a bunch of other ones, Halloween Man Rock On. I think there may be like maybe two or three other ones, probably like five or six altogether. But Halloween Man X Hero, uh, nice longevity. Uh, I wore this down in Florida when I, I, when I went um, down with the family uh, last month on vacation. And it, it, it definitely shined in that warm, humid weather down there. I think it's awesome for summer. From House of, House of Halloween Man, Jesus Del Pozo, Halloween Man Hero. Number two set. From the House of Karl Lagerfeld, this is Guadi Uh, You know, rest in peace, Karl Lagerfeld. He died a couple years back. This one came out, um, I think, shortly before he died. Um, and it got some nice buzz. It's Guadi it's uh, de Vetiver. Uh, there's some other Bois that's out there. Um, this is the only one I have right now from Carl Lagerfeld. Uh, well, this and Carl, and Carl Lagerfeld Classic, the Classic Edition, but um, the old school one. But this is the only one I have from the Bois de Collection. There's a couple other ones that are out there. Um, awesome scent. I mean, longevity is average. I'll probably get like four or five hours longevity, but it definitely projects. That's, that is a projection beast for the first hour, hour and a half before it kind of dies down. And longevity overall is not that great, but it's a great summer scent. I mean, you, you get the, it's, it's a bright, um, it's a bright ve uh, vetiva citrus. <laughs> yeah, citrus mixed in there, some grapefruit. I mean, it's it's just an awesome scent. Um, I always get compliment, compliments on this scent when I, when I wear it. And uh, like I said, another, another rediscovery from my collection. So I'll put it in the number number two spot. I've been wearing it a lot. Get a lot of bang, uh, banging compliments on this one. So when I was a Carl Lagerfeld, Carl Lagerfeld, what the vetiva. And the number one spot from the House of Masoni is Masoni Wave. I did a, a standalone video on this one. This is a rack store gem. Um, so far, I'm saying it's the best rack store final 2022. Uh, we're more than halfway through now. So I might come across some, something that, that's better, but for the time being, uh, so far, so good. For 2022, this is this is the rack store banger, the best of the, of the year uh, in rack store gems, Masoni Wave. Um, 
Some people say it smells like uh, Versace por uh, Porom or um, or uh, the cross between Versace Porom and um, um, uh, Versace Porom and another one it gets compared to. I can't recall right now, but I, I don't get. Actually, I think it's um, a little on sport or extreme. Yeah, it's, 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 it's people compare it as a cross between Versace Porom and. Um, a little on sport or ext uh, extreme from Chanel. I, I don't get either one of those comparisons. Um, to me, once again, this stands in, in, in a lane of its own. I mean, it's creamy, citrusy. Um, it, it, it definitely has some weight weight to it, which I like. I love weighty scents. That last. I mean, and it's it, it's just great. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna see you wrong. If you see this in the rack stores, I think I paid something like thirty dollars for it uh, back early in the spring. Uh, if you come across the rock, store, rock stores and see it, definitely scoop it up. And it's my number one for summer 2022. The house of my Sony, my Sony Wave. Right, this is Millie, that's all I have for you today. Until next time, take care.